At first, there was the C8 Pisces and its evolution, the C8X. But a new member of the beloved Pisces family has finally arrived. The Pisces C8R is the ship I believe may become a staple in any bunker runner's arsenal. Introduced at 2952's IAE, the C8R is the newest addition to Anvil Aerospace's lineup on the show floor. With the Tier 3 medbed inside, what are you giving up by picking one over the other? Let's find out. Hello folks, Space Tech here, and welcome to a ship review and a buyer's guide for the Anvil Pisces C8R. To give this review some context when referencing different characteristics, we'll see how it compares to the C8X and the Avenger Titan, two other ships that are loved by the community and often recommended as good ships for newer players. First, let's start off with the tour. The dimensions of the Rescue Pisces are actually identical to that of the other Pisces, and is smaller in every dimension compared to the Titan. That also means that the Rescue Pisces can be spawned at Platinum Bay landing pads. This size is actually hugely important, because several Pisces can be landed inside of the bay of a C2. There have been many cases where my org has been transporting vehicles through the use of C2s. Whether that be a ballista for jump town, or snub ships and racers for some weekend fun, we would always run into scenarios where someone would get hurt, and we'd wish that we brought along a Cutlass Red so that they didn't have to limp around for the rest of the event because of some tier 3 injury. Moving along the right side of the ship, there isn't anything special to make this ship different when compared to the C8X. I will point out for those of you who haven't noticed before, that these panel-like designs on either side of the Pisces are very reminiscent of the modular components of the Carrick, which is a nice nod to the fact that the Pisces acts as its snub ship. Moving around to the front of the ship shows how small the profile of this ship is, useful for a tight space or when maneuvering into the hold of a larger ship. A quick note is that the ambulance lights are tied to the headlights of the ship and are toggled with the same keybind. Finally, the left side is identical to the right, and that brings us to the back of the ship. Here, you'll notice the panel on the right as a way to get into the ship. A great side effect of the addition of this ship is that the other two Pisces have also gained this polished door panel. Moving to the inside of the ship puts you in the decontamination area, which is quite similar in style to the same area in the Carrick. Here, in the first section, you have access to a few of your components, which is great to have here on the inside for when engineering gameplay is implemented, and you may find yourself needing to repair a component. Through these doors, we now find ourselves in the main body of the ship. Here, we find the prize jewel of this ship, the med bed. This bed is a tier 3 medical bed, the same as can be found in the Cutlass Red. While you can't use this bed to respawn, it can be used to heal up any tier 3 injury that you may get from being shot in a bunker, or hit by a vehicle, or even by tripping down some stairs. An added benefit is that these beds also top up your food and water, for when you forget to bring a double dog on your adventure. To accommodate this bed, the C8R loses all 4 SCU of cargo capacity that the C8X has. While that might be concerning at first, you definitely cannot do any meaningful cargo trading with 4 SCU of space. And luckily, both variants have a total of 4 SCU of internal storage space for all the armor, weapons, and food that you would want to store. Speaking of which, a common use case of the Pisces during bunker running is to transport around a 1 SCU box to bring into the bunker and load up with armor and weapons to sell later. While you do lose the cargo space inside the main cabin of the rescue Pisces, I found that the box fits just fine in the decontamination area. You also lose one jump seat, but personally I think that's a complete non-issue, since for now the third person can simply lay on the bed to achieve the same effect as sitting in a seat. Finally, you also get this medicine cabinet that comes with a good variety of med pens, as well as some flares and some food and water. All of these resources respawn in the ship whenever you claim it, which further solidifies my opinion that the C8R makes for a fantastic bunker runner. Considering how useful this medical bed is, let's see what it has to give up in some other departments. First, let's see how well this ship compares to its peers in those situations where you find that some pirates have somehow found you as you were leaving your bunker. Starting off with weapons. Similar to the regular base C8, the C8R only has two weapon hardpoints. Both of these are two gimbaled size 1 hardpoints, which when outfitted with the standard laser repeaters gives you a burst DPS of 672 per capacitor. You also get a total of two size 1 missiles. The C8X is then upgunned to four size 1 hardpoints on gimbals, giving you a total DPS of 1344 per full capacitor. It has the same two size 1 missiles. Finally, just as a reference point, the go-to combat recommendation in this price range is the Avenger Titan, that has a burst DPS of 1300 if equipped with a fully gimbaled loadout, and 1640 if fixed. It also can be equipped with 8 size 1 missiles. Clearly, the C8R is not meant to be much of a fighter, so if you can't fight, run! Let's take a look at durability. The C8R and C8X actually have identical values here. They both have one size 1 shield, which when left as default gives you a shield HP of 1500. 
This can be upgraded to a shield that would give you a shield HP of 1725, or a 15% increase. The Pisces can take a total of 1500 damage to the body before exploding. It does have 250 HP for each wing before those wings detach, but that isn't as relevant. The Avenger Titan has two size 1 shields that have a total of 3000 HP by default. This goes up to 3450 when upgraded. The Avenger Titan can take up to 2500 to either the nose or the body before destruction, and has about 1000 HP in each wing before they detach. Next, let's look at maneuverability. Both Pisces have identical accelerations in forwards, backwards, and directional maneuvering. They also share top speeds of 1150 meters per second. Where they finally do divert is that the C8R has a max SCM speed of 164, where the C8X has 142. While this isn't a huge difference, it is interesting that these otherwise physically identical ships would differ here, especially considering both ships weigh the same. For reference, the Titan has a max speed of 1113 and a max SCM of 189. I will say here that the Pisces line of ships are some of the most fun to fly around, both inside and out of atmosphere. This is likely due to the great thrusters and light weight, definitely ships that you would enjoy throwing around the snake pit in your free time. With all of these things in mind, I wouldn't be surprised to see the C8R completely replace the C8X in the fleet of most citizens. All you lose is 4 SCU, which isn't that valuable anyway, and 2 weapon hardpoints, which would be valuable if people actually used the C8X as a fighter in the first place. So should you buy the C8R? I think if you're looking for a medical ship that is both cheaper and can fit in more ships and locations than a Cutlass Red, the C8R will more than fill that role for you. It provides a lot of value through its ability to fill up your hunger and thirst, as well as taking care of minor injuries. This really is a great ship. So tell me, will you be picking up this ship? Please like and or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Take care, and see you in the next one.